Yeah, the contrast in temperatures from when we got on the bus on Sunday to come home and right now is about 50 degrees as Knapp fires low. And that's ball four to Dalton the other day. The 0-2. Slider that's hit off the end of the bat. It comes to the third baseman, Castanazzi. Throws a dart over to first. Stokely's there. And 5-3, to three. Maynard set down for the first leadoff walk. Maynard grounded out for the first out of the inning. There's a soft flare into shallow right center. And it is off the glove of Vanderbreak, the second baseman running back. Honeycutt feigned as if to say he was going to catch it. Ooh. Good slider by Knapp. And a check swing strike three. And down goes Brown. That's a big strikeout score. The payoff pitch. Runner goes from first, and it's ball four outside. Brent and Florida also represented. Another 2-2 two -two lined over the shortstop and into left center field. Dalton scores to make it one to nothing. Around from the second base comes Jackson. Two nothing Aggies. There's a little bit of a fracas going on over at third base. And while there's some pushing and shoving and some jostling, Brantley decides to head from first to second that you see here in North Carolina, but part of it is because the schools are so good and there's so many of them. Good slider gets Hennings. I didn't want to make sure he was out there batting one to start the year off. Next pitch, long line drive over the right center field fence and Honeycutt has done it again. Second leadoff home run of the season for Vance, the fifth of his career. And Carolina's just cut the A&T lead in half. It's a round tripper for Honeycutt, his eighth of the season, RBI 25. And first pitch, two hopper over to short. Rowan gets to it, throws to first, and Mack retired. Six to three for the first out of the inning and home runs this year. Jackson saw Hennings, the first baseman, playing back, was thinking about pushing one down that line. Another bouncing ball to the left side of the infield. That finds the third baseman, Maynard, who slings a shot over to first, 27 RBIs. Another pitch comes inside, and this one a little too far inside. Got a piece of Frick, and that's nothing new. Huge. The one-two. Big fly to straightaway center field, and Osuna goes yard to put the Tar Heels up in front, three to two, on an absolute scorcher. When you can do that with the ball, you don't want to swing and miss as often as possible. Put it in play. Carolina adds to its home run tally on the season. Going the bottom half of the first. There's ball four upstairs, and Cook takes a five-pitch walk down to first. Last year as well. The 2-0. That's driven to right center field. Shamar Dalton is back at the warning track, and just in front of the wall pulls it down. Next payoff pitch to the plate. Off speed, got him swinging strike three. Pitch over the plate, bounce to first, Stokely. The big cat gets to it and steps on first, unassisted for the second out of the inning. Next pitch, freezes Brown, strike three. Fastball, inner half. Snyder from the stretch. Deals again a breaking ball. That is volleyed into shallow left center field, but easy pickings for T.J. Ash, the center fielder, to get there in time. Oshimer Stadium with the 3-1 pitch on the way. Outside, and Cook takes a five-pitch walk down to first. He made good on. There he goes. Pitch to the plate. Castanazzi skies it to center. Ash coming in, still running in. Sets up, waits, and makes the catch. That's the second out. Cook retreats back to first. And Hunter Stokely comes to hit from the Snyder's 3-1 to the plate. Stokely launches a deep drive to right center. And the Heels are just homer for the third time today. Reshaped his body, and it really has helped him get that bat through the zone a little bit quicker this season. And it's the reason he's now got four home runs on the year. He's got 12 RBIs, and the Tar Heels have their biggest advantage of the day. Good job by the offense to get that walk in this inning, too. Line drive to left center. And even though it was well struck by Wilkerson, well played by Ash in the outfield. To face the 2-2. Slow bouncer to second, Vanderbreak charging in, makes the exchange from glove to hand and gets the ball to first base, beating Brantley by a full step. Ground ball, or you let it go and the umpire calls it for a strike. Williams, good piece of contact there on the first pitch that he sees. Fly ball over the right center field fence and gone. 
Williams had the two RBI single back in the first. He's got a solo homer in the fourth. Second dinger of the season. And the Aggies back to within two, trailing five to three. Just we, as we... Sandy back to work with Hennings at the plate. First pitch, line past the shortstop and in the left center field. Honeycutt bobbled the ball, but still just one base for Hennings on the single. Ash who's at the plate. There goes the runner. Sandy motions towards the plate. Ash with a swinging strike three. No throw down to second. That was a huge jump for Hennings. The 0-2 to Rowan. Came inside and just barely got him. So he hits the batter, and the inning continues. Coach. Lefty, lefty matchup between Dalton and Sandy. Turns around, throws to second base. Wilkerson was there. The ball was low, and down to third goes Hennings on the air. Carolina did everything right. There goes the runner at first. Ball bounced off the top of the mound. Finds Wilkerson, throws over to Stokely. And that is the third and final out of the fourth inning. So second. A 1-1. One, one. That's hit off the hands, and it bounces past the second baseman into right field. Just an awkward-looking sequence off the bat by Honeycutt, but bases in the ACC. Pitch to the plate, gets by the catcher, and down to second goes Honeycutt. Wouldn't be surprised to see that deemed a pass ball, Kyle. Oh, yeah, I was already writing that down in the book. Honeycutt takes off from second. And he dives in, head first to third, punched out by the third base umpires. The tag applied by Maynard. Brown sits up on the outside corner. The pitch was right over there. Ball bounced over the mound. Here comes the shortstop. Throw to first, and Vanderbreak out by an eyelash. Rowan, an exceptional play to get Vanderbreak. The 0-2 to Maynard here in the top of the fifth. On the slider, check this swing, and that is easy pickings for Carolina. Strike three is Maynard fans for the second time today. Hey, it was a start. You don't have to use any other arms out of the bullpen. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Jackson goes down on a pitch that was low and inside, and AC is for heels. Williams has the lone homer for the Aggies as AC came inside again. AC fires. And a line drive to left center, but there's Vance Honeycutt. Always where he needs to be with plenty of time to spare to end the inning. Well, if he's not where he needs to be, he can get there in a quick, <laughs> fast and a Rick just took ball three, so here's the payoff pitch. And Snyder gets another one. Second strike. Daniel Carter got the start. Oh, soon a weak ground ball first base side. Snyder gets to it with the glove and then races over to first to beat Osuna. The fifth. The 1-0, that's blasted to deep right. Dalton is back in front of the warning track, and he makes the catch just shy of the wall. Cook put a charge into it. Berkowitz is 1-2, and he fans on that slider. Strike three. Who's your name? <laughs> the 1-1. Softly hit in the shallow center, and even Vance Honeycutt can't get there in time. He thought about it. I can see him. The 1-2. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Brantley fans. Burke. Peterson's first pitch. Line down the line and right, and that is a fair ball into the corner. Williams continues to torch the Tar Heels as Horvath has some trouble with it. Around from first to score is Brown, and a and T trails Carolina by a run, five to four. Left, the 3-0. Peterson misses well wide, and that's ball four. Just a 5-4 game. Carolina up a score. The 2-2. Two -two. Moss. Fans on strike three, and Pence does the job. Score to run before flying out to end the fifth. Swing here, and a base hit into left field. It falls into the sunlit grass, and the Tar Heels have the leadoff man aboard for a second consecutive inning. Four in the bottom of the eighth. Hart's first pitch gets away from the catcher. Brown, the fastball was well wide, and down to second goes Stenazzi. That's line just past the second baseman. Williams knocked it down with a glove, slides to it in shallow right center. Cook over to third base, and Castanazzi with his first base hit at first. Catch, middle of the rubber. The 0-2, Stokely, soft bouncing ball to third. Tossed to second for one. That's all the Aggies can get. Stokely drives in Cook from third to make it 6-4. Galici's 2-2. And Wilkerson 
Fans on strike three. Pitch was probably low and inside, but with two strikes, you have to protect. 1-0 pitch to Honeycutt. Big chopper over to third. Crashing in hard as Maynard. Throwing on the run. Honeycutt retired. And as Saban Rowan leads off with a little pop-up behind second base. There's Vanderbreak, the second baseman on the outfield grass to glove it. The payoff pitch. Poston induces a ground ball to short. Wilkerson behind second base. Took a funny hop. Makes the play, though, and throws out Dalton at first to put A&T down to their... The 2-2 from Poston to Maynard, and that's your ball game. Pulled the string, and the Tar Heels win it 6-4. Couldn't locate that fastball, so fine, I'll stop messing around. Here's the off speed. Great job. Got the opportunity to get the save, comes in and not only gets it, 